everybody, it's Megan Elizabeth, and you can find me over at ByMeganElizabeth.com, and I'm really excited today to share with you a mirrored image stamped card using the Stamparatus. We're using what we feature all month of November for this Tuesday Tutorials, which is going to be Nature Sing Stamp Set, the Festive Farmhouse Cardstock Combo Pack, and the Festive Farmhouse Designer Paper Series. I just love it, because you could really use any designer paper from that pack, and It'll look beautiful with this card, but I'm gonna use this beautiful mossy meadow um, with the kind of like snowflake, very vanilla snowflakes. I'm gonna show you what all the measurements are so you can go ahead and recreate this card. We're using an A2 size card cut out of very vanilla cardstock, which is four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. The Festive Farmhouse Designer Paper, which is just a quarter of an inch smaller on all sides, so that makes it five and a quarter inches by four inches. And then another sheet of very vanilla, what we're gonna stamp on, and this is three and a half inches by four and a half inches, okay? So this is what we're gonna be using today and our Stamparatus with crumb cake and old olive, okay? So it's a really, really, really um, simple and fun card that we're going to be creating today. Um, it's going to look just, I think, beautiful. It's going to look like a very tranquil, like this uh, wildlife is getting a drink from the water and its reflection is coming back from the water. Um, I think it's going to be fun. Anyway, we're going to give it a try and see what happens. I've been inspired to do these videos for a while. I saw Jennifer McGuire was like the first person I saw doing a uh, mirrored stamp a bazillion years ago. And I thought, you know what? The Stamparatus is the perfect thing to quickly kind of line up. I already basically have my elk deer moose, whatever this is, lined up where I want it to go and there's going to be a mirror reflection coming down from this side. So what I'm going to do here is um, is opening up our Stamparatus and I'm going to grab a silicone sheet. This is a silicone craft sheet that I use with my Texture Boutique and my Crumb Cake ink is what I'm going to start out with. So we're gonna get Crumb Cake nice and juicy all over this beautiful elk here. And we're going to press it down really good on our silicone mat. Now the way I'm going to do this is grab my um, berry vanilla here and I'm going to line it up like so that the bottom portion of the deer is basically where I want it to be. I don't think I went up high enough. I hope I did. If I didn't, we'll make it work still. Okay. All right. It's not quite as high as I wanted it to be, but that'll be all right. Okay. So basically now when I flip the card around the upright way, this is where the mousse is going to fall. So now I'm going to move the silicone mat out of the way. I'm going to keep it right against the edge because that's how we stamped it. It's really like such an easy way to do this. Okay. We're going to get crumb cake all over here again. Nice and juicy right where we need it to be. It's a little high. So with the Stamparatus, what I can do is just move it down because I didn't, I said I kind of didn't go up high enough for the amount of deer that I wanted. So we're going to move the Stamparatus down and we're going to shift the card down just a little bit here. And I'm going to kind of position it in place. I'm going to use a magnet to hold it right where I want it to be because I did not go up high enough, which I should have marked out a little bit better, but I didn't. All right, be careful with these magnets. They're super strong. I have pinched my fingers more times than I can count, and I have used very colorful language when that has happened. So watch yourself, because they are so strong. It's great, like it's helpful, but good grief. All right, make sure it's where it's out of the way and in place. Okay, so that is just about what I want. I just wanna make sure it doesn't slide. It's all the way against the edge still. Make sure we're good and inked up and I didn't dry it out too much and press it down and you should have a perfectly mirrored image like he's walking through that water which is just beautiful it's exactly what i want all right so now what i'm gonna do is create the other little layers and pieces to this card all right we're gonna use cherry cobbler for and heaven and nature sings and I think that's gonna, is it gonna go down here? I don't think I want it to go down here. I want it to kind of be, well, we're gonna see in a second. We're gonna move this out of the way because we wanna create all the little layers and pieces that make this card come to life. Whoa. And this is really so simple that really, as long as you keep those edges to edges, you can shift and move down the plates as you need if you don't line it up perfectly. 
on that silicone mat. This is just kind of the easiest way that I can do it quickly without having to do all kinds of math calculations or other thoughts. I'm actually not done with the silicone mat either because I'm going to grab my Coastal Cabana Stamp and Write marker. I'm gonna use the brush side. I'm gonna draw it right on here, just get it good and juicy. And I'm grabbing my Wink of Stella, right? And I'm actually going to grab some Coastal Cabana on my Wink of Stella. I'm actually squeezing out some Wink of Stella, mixing it together on there, and I'll, I'll take care of it then. I'm gonna kinda go in here and gently brush down a little bit more of that Coastal Cabana up here right at the base and then I'm just gonna watercolor it down, utilizing really Wink of Stella. So it's more Wink of Stella, just a little blue along the top and Wink of Stella just brushing off. And you can see it really just clears off as you go. You don't have to do a lot of effort to clean it off because as you write with it or draw with it or paint with it or whatever you wanna call it, it cleans itself as you go. So just a little up there along this edge and it just looks very tranquil. And it also helps to um, distort out some of that other stamping. So it really does have that wave and watermark to it that it looks truly mirrored in the water. Okay, really, really simple and beautiful shimmer of the water and a Christmas card. So perfect. And then we'll just wash that off when we're all done. I kind of want it to grab these trees and do some of these trees, but I'm a little nervous to be honest with you. I'm a little nervous. So what I think I'm gonna do, these trees are in the nature sings. I'm gonna use old olive and I'm just gonna kind of go along the edge right here. I'm not even doing the whole thing. I'll wipe off where I got it off the edge of the table. Could do that on the craft mat too so I don't make such a mess. But whatever. especially since I'm doing it off the edge. I probably should use some kind of scrap of some sort for this. All right, and we're gonna do a little bit off the edge back here. Just really simple. Just that there's a little bit of nature going on around the sides. Okay. Yeah, that'll be perfect. And I used old olive. You could definitely use mossy meadow. I don't have mossy meadow in my craft room yet. It's coming. It was supposed to be here by now, but I messed up my order. So <laughs> it happens. I want all the greens and I want all the reds because they're beautiful and they go with the different colors, especially with Christmas coming. All right. So that's how that's going to go on there with the, with the edge. It's perfect. And then I have End Nature Sings, and I'm gonna do this in the Cherry Cobbler color. You could do Old Olive, or um, I'm just gonna add this pop of, pop of red on here. And I think it'll just be beautiful to have right along this top edge. And Heaven and Nature Sing. And it's just simple, so simple. We're gonna adhere it all together, but we're gonna use a couple metallic pearls. And I'm gonna use the gold metallic because I love gold and green. Just want this light. No, I'm gonna do a couple more. We'll do five metallic pearls. Okay. And I'm going to grab ATG. Just a couple strips. You know what you could do too? I'm gonna to do it. I'm gonna grab my corner rounder. I'm gonna do quarter inch round. I'm gonna round the corners of this. I think it'll just be pretty on this card. Even though the rest of the card isn't rounded, I might, I might round the other corners, we'll see. So quarter inch round on that part. Two strips of adhesive. 
just want to make sure it's about equal amounts of snowflakes, I guess, on each side. And we're going to leave it just like that. I'm not going to round the other corners. I think it's very simple and beautiful. You could have gone up a little further, which originally I had intended. That's why I had to shift it down. I didn't quite go up high enough. Um, but you get the general idea of how beautiful this can be and how you can also mirror all your stamps. You just need that silicone um, or something that would not absorb the ink, that the ink can stay wet on just for a little bit so you can transfer it onto your paper. And it really just looks beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Tuesday tutorial um, and that you enjoy the moments as well. You can check them all out at buymeganelizabeth.com and I have all the Shop Now links as well if you are interested in shopping Stampin' Up! with me. The links are in the comments and descriptions and I hope you enjoy today. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.